Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Toya from the Classy Sassy Life, and today is a haul video for my classroom. These are all the things that I have picked up over the summer. So, let's get started. I have a mess down here, so I'm gonna try to do a little bit of organizing <laughs> while I'm talking. So let's first talk about bins. I picked up these bins, a pack of 10 from Walmart for $7. Um, and actually the little um, tie that was on it popped off. So I can use that as a holder for some things. I also picked up these. These are a lot deeper for the same price. And I got four of these. Okay. Um, so also from Walmart, I have two rolls of contact paper in this beautiful marble color. You guys can see that. Um, this is gonna be for my teacher area. I like to create a teacher space for myself. I know a lot of teachers don't do that. I prefer to have a teacher space. I spend a lot of time at school, so I wanna have a comfortable little area for myself, but it doesn't take up a lot of space in the room. Um, also from Walmart, I got these bins. Two. I got these bins also from Walmart, two for 96 cents. Um, so I got one, these are gonna go in my student's desk. And it will hold like pencils and um, their crayon boxes, yeah. And I also picked up two curriculum based items from Walmart. One is this phonics stacker in the shape of an ice cream cone and um, scoops of ice cream. And then I picked up this alphabet pocket chart activity center and I didn't know I already had one in my room so I don't actually need this one so this is gonna go back. And I think that's everything from Walmart. So let's talk about Dollar General. Um, at Dollar General I picked up these, this clock here to have in my room. I also picked up these Sterilite boxes. I have three of these. Um, so I'm going to have shades of blue as far as my organization is going. Um, I also picked up a three, what are they called? I picked up a cube organizer, a three cube organizer. Um, it's not shown. I won't show you that here because I'm going to put it together and bring it to school. Um, and I think that's all that I picked up from Dollar General besides like a few cleaning products. And one other thing I picked up from Walmart is this sharp cordless floor and carpet sweeper. I picked this up because um, I have carpet this year and I try to have a broom and a mop every year so this will serve the purpose. Um, and I um, got this one because the one that didn't have a cord with it that was just manual was $28 and this one was $29. So yeah. Let's move on to Dollar Tree. So at Dollar Tree, I have picked up a few manipulative type items. So I picked up these popsicle sticks that I needed. Um, I also picked up these organizer baskets in like this gray, smoke gray color. Um, these will go at my small group table for my students when they are at small groups with me. I also picked up these snack organizers in four additional colors because I already have um, pink at home. So each group will get um, a color box. So I have it in like that smoke gray, almost black, the green, red, blue, and hot pink is at home. So I have those. Anything else from Dollar Tree? Oh yeah, so I also picked up these um, clipboards from Dollar Tree because uh, I want my students to be able to have access to this if they need to write anything when we're in carpet time. So I picked up 24 of those. And I also picked up five of these um, dry erase boards. They are two-sided uh, and I'm gonna have these in my teacher area. And then from here, I know you guys can see these. I, I picked up eight lap decks from Michaels. They're originally $6.99 and I got them for like $3.99 with coupons and discounts. So that was a really great sale. And now to move on to the Target dollar spot because that's the majority of what I have on the floor. Oh, one more thing from Dollar General. These sheer curtains to go up in my library area. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those over here. 
So now, the Target Dollar Spot haul. So I picked up eight bins. These are very thin trays. I love these. They're $3 each. Um, and I picked them up in all the colors and two in black. I also picked up dry erase boards. They are two-sided. Some have shapes on one side. The other ones have lines on one side. And some have numbers on the other side. And I chose these instead of the ones from Dollar Tree, even though they are a little bit bigger. These have the clips already on them. Once the year is over, I'm still gonna keep these clips and I may just upgrade to the, well, I wouldn't say upgrade, but I will go over to the Dollar Tree ones because they're a little bit thicker and a little bit sturdier. But these will work, I hope, for the year. And if not, I can replace them with the Dollar Tree ones if any of them mess up. So I bought 24 of those. And they come in, like I said, a couple of different styles. So I actually have the um, black and white marble. I have red, which has numbers on the back. You can see those numbers. And then I have the blue one, solid blue, and they have shapes on the back. Then I have a checkered blue pattern. Uh oh, that's not it. I have a checkered blue pattern and it has letters and then like I said I have that marble composition style and it's just lines. I would have preferred to get all of these but they didn't have enough so I had to scrounge for those so beggars can't be choosers. I also picked up four sets of the lowercase magnetic letters and four sets of the uppercase magnetic letters for a percenter. And I grabbed the numbers as well for centers too. So this is gonna be awesome. And as the year progresses, I will definitely show you guys how I'm using these in my centers. I'm trying to keep my groups at groups of four so that each one of my students can kind of have their own um, manipulatives to work with. So in addition to those, I also picked up these. So I picked six up because I need each individual color. So each group will get their own, um, each center group will get their own color. And that's how I'm going to call them to my table because they're going to work in mixed ability, but we're gonna go to centers in um, they're going to work and go to centers in mixed ability, but when I pull them to my table, they will be um, homogeneous ability groups. So what that means is all my kids will be on the same level when they come to me, but they will have mixed levels in my room. Um, I also picked up two of these, and I have a black set too somewhere. I don't know where that bag is, but I have a black set of these. And then I picked up a pack of the thin um, adhesive rectangular labels. And then I picked up the square. I already have these, but I picked up two extra packs. Mini erasers. I picked up um, four packs of these. So I only ended up with like 32 because they only come in packs of eight. But I did grab one bag of these apples. I really wanted two to three bags of these, but there were only there was only one, and I get 60. And in the rainbows, though, I have 60 um, rainbow erasers. If it'll zoom in. I guess not. Um, so yeah, those are all of the erasers that I have. Then I have this pen or pencil holder in the shape of a pencil. I thought it was too stinking cute so I had to have this for my desk. I also have three packs of this tassel runner and three packs of these string lights. Um, I grabbed pencils. So I just have a ton of pencils. And for my team teacher, I bought her a cup but it broke this morning. So I also have some socks for her and this little keychain for her. 
And then I got a keychain for myself. So, and I bought all of these socks here, which are too cute, right? Pencils, an actual pencil, uh, composition, notebook paper. I have on a pair that says hashtag teacher's life. I have a polka dotted pair at home and a gray pair with an apple on the side. And um, the last two things I have, I bought four of these um, dry erase pockets because I am ordering a set of uh, 25 with the other colors in them. And then I bought this um, wood clip spool. I thought it was too cute, I couldn't pass up on it. Okay guys, so that's gonna wrap up this summer classroom haul video, I hope you enjoyed it. So now it's time for me to get things done in my classroom. Make sure you check out my video that will be loaded um, this week for this week's classroom vlog. Thanks so much for watching guys. Keep God first in everything you do and don't forget to always teach with lots of class and sass. Bye guys.